In the next step, you pull the ball roller bearing off the bevel gear wheel. To do this, fit the holding tool and the puller. Place the bevel gear wheel on the table at an angle to make the job easier. Use the ratchet to turn the spindle until the bearing is loose. You need a press for the next step because now the ball roller bearing is pressed onto the bevel gear wheel. Remember that you must never add additional grease or lubrication to the lubrication already on the new bearing. The new bearing is then placed on the bevel gear wheel. Then fit a sleeve. Now you can carefully press the bearing onto the bevel gear wheel. Now we will continue with the ball roller bearings on the differential. Attach the puller here as well. Ensure that this fits precisely into the space. Use the ratchet to turn the spindle in order to pull the bearing. Then turn the differential around. You still have to remove the bearing on the other side. Repeat the process here. You also need a new ball roller bearing for the crown wheel. Use a heating plate to heat it to 80 degrees centigrade. Now both bearings can be placed on the crown wheel easily and without any force. Remember to use a feeler gauge to check the contact on both sides. It must not be possible to push the gauge between the bearing and the contact surface. In our case, the feeler gauge measures 0.05 millimeters. Now we will measure the axle housing's internal dimension. To do this, place the correct gauge block inside the rear axle housing. You need a feeler gauge here as well. Use this to measure the gap. Find out which gauge is the correct one. In our case, the feeler gauge measures a gap of 0.8 millimeters. Record the result. Important. The internal dimension of the axle housing is calculated by adding the special tool and the gap measured. The special tool is 198.5 millimeters because this is the value for the large crown wheel with a diameter of 245 millimeters. Add the gap dimension of 0.8 millimeters. This provides an internal dimension of 199.3 millimeters.
Then you measure the height of the differential. To do this, place the crown gear with both bearing shells onto a measuring plate. Use a digital depth gauge for the measurement. Calibrate this to zero first. Now measure the height of the differential. The height is 188.27 millimeters. Record this measurement as well. Then subtract the value of the differential 188.27 millimeters from the internal dimension of the rear axle housing 199.3 millimeters. Then add 0.2 millimeters for the bearing pretension. The result is 11.2 millimeters. This is how you calculate the difference dimension. Then divide the 11.2 millimeters by 2. The product is 5.6 millimeters. You need to select a smaller disc on the crown wheel side to achieve the corresponding tooth flank clearance. In our case, the dimension is 5.5 millimeters. The other one has a dimension of 5.7 millimeters. Then check the thickness of the spacer discs. To do this, use a digital caliper. If the values match, then label the discs with left and right 